Good evening, folks. Earlier this month, we shared the news that fine detail analysis was showing that the solar polar magnetic fields were beginning their reversal. The sun's magnetic field reverses every 11-year sunspot cycle, and it is the sign that we are in the peaking period of sunspot maximum. This means more sunspots, solar flares, CMEs, and geomagnetic storms, with some of those coming from coronal hole solar wind streams. During sunspot minimum, the coronal holes are confined to the polar region, but as the sun's fields flip and sunspot maximum arrives, the coronal holes migrate across the equator, as do the sunspots. It's a flip of key solar features. This dark coronal hole you see here is the first to span the polar crown to the solar equator, and it is a sign that those magnetic fields are reversing. It'll be directly facing Earth and putting its solar wind our way a little bit later this week. This is what we see every cycle. The polar field maximum strength is actually during sunspot minimum, but when those magnetic fields on the sun start to decrease in power, the key coronal features switch sides on the sun, and the sunspots and higher activity appear. It's not the interior of the sun that flips, just the key outer layers, and this is how we know that 2024 and 2025 are likely to be the peaking periods of this sunspot cycle. We expect to descend into sunspot minimum by the end of this decade, with the next cycle to peak in about 10 or 11 years. For now, expect higher activity on the sun in the months ahead, and more of these large coronal holes reaching down to the equator and then shifting to the opposite side of the sun. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.